long distance problems, we discuss the general formula to be used, and that is the distance d is equal to the product of the rate r and the time t. These are the common units that we might encounter whenever we are trying to solve problems from books. We should also know the importance of drawing or modeling the given conditions. These drawings are critical parts of our solutions as these will be the basis of the equation to solve any problem. Case 1 is called the overtake or catch up problem. It usually involves objects moving in the same direction and on the same road. This first case, and since this is an overtake problem, we expect that the distance traveled by the two objects will be equal at the point where one overtakes the other. So the equation from this drawing will be distance traveled by A or D sub A is equal to the distance traveled by B or D sub B. Case 2 tackles objects going in opposite directions. These objects can either be going towards each other or away from each other. From these figures, we know that either way, the distance traveled by A added to the distance traveled by B should be equal to a third distance given, which we can call the total distance apart. So, the equation from either drawings will be the same. And that is, the distance traveled by A or D sub A plus the distance traveled by B or D sub B is equal to the total distance apart. Now, the third case is called the round trip case. This involves going to a destination and then returning from that destination back to the starting point. We can call the distance going as D sub G and the distance returning as D sub R. And from these drawings, we can conclude that since the object will be taking the same road, the distance going or D sub G should be equal to the distance returning or D sub R. These are the three basic cases in distance problems. But as you solve more, you will discover that there are other special cases. Always remember though that the key is understanding the conditions by visualizing or modeling or by drawing it to figure out what values need to be equal. See you sa next video! Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy solving!